Hello beautiful, I'm here with you today to show you how to do a do-it-yourself, decorate your binder. We're getting ready to go back to school and uh, you're going to want to look your best for those classes. Uh, here's a cheap, effective, and easy way to get a cute binder without paying $20 for the cost. Alright, let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get into this binder and make it pretty. So I've got my favorite glittery stickies here for you today gonna go ahead and cut them out. Uh, these are much easier because uh, you don't have to use glue and for anybody who's messy and you're not gonna want to use the glue it's just it's just not gonna it won't be that fun. Alright so here we go let's start cutting. Alright I'm gonna make some zigzags. If you're really good, you don't have to do any lines, but uh, if you're feeling um, polished, you can go ahead and draw some pre-lines, but honestly, I don't feel like it matters with the lines. It's, it's going to look cool regardless, because you decorated it, because we decorated it together. All right, there's that part. Let me go ahead and get this bottom. Be careful because we're going to use this middle piece, the space between the zigzags. So try not to slice them up. Like I will do if I don't take my time. Got it. Almost. Nearly there. Voila. Okay, so I'm going to put this part in the middle because that's how I'm feeling today. And it's up to you if you want to decorate the front and the back. I haven't decided if I'm going to decorate the front and the back yet. I'll keep you posted through this video. I mean, I came with a plan, but I don't think I planned... Well, actually, I did plan to decorate the back. I was going to do the same thing I did to the front, to the back. So that was the game plan. But, you know, game plans change. Zigzaggies change, too. How cool is that, right? I'm not even done yet. Love binders. Never got the opportunity to decorate my binder. I had the same binder from, I don't know, the third grade all through middle school. It was an ugly binder. It was ugly. It was like dark blue. It cost me five bucks. Totally for misrepresentative. Misrepresentation of who I felt like I was an artist. A me. Okay, here's another sticky paper sheet. Foam sheet. Cut that off. And get this situated. Measure it out. Can I see if that measures? That won't measure. So this will measure. Okay, so we'll do that. And I'm just going to cut off a line. Literally. You can draw lines if you need to. I'm not going to. Because I feel like the beauty is in the... Sometimes. In the imprecision. Depends on what you're doing, though. I didn't untake the whole... The, take off the entire thing because it's likely going to be too long. Cut it off. Right there. Improvise, guys. Improvise. And like that. Cut it off. And take 
off that. Add some glittery stars. Check those babies out. And I have gold, silver, and white. I like to balance out my artwork as best as I can. Probably some white. Maybe some white. Depends on your mood. Couple more stars. Maybe a white one over here in this corner. So the white star doesn't feel left out. And lonely. We don't want our stars to be lonely. Can't think of anything sadder than a lonely star. Right there. And let's see. There we go. Right there. Okay. Then I'm going to add on some dazzlers. Because an art project's not an art project, and a binder is not a binder without the beloved dazzlers. Careful not to get it on your fingers. Super glue is just not a pleasant thing to have on your fingers. It feels horrible. It's sticky. It's not even sticky after you get it on your fingers. It just kind of feels like you can't feel your fingers. So um, if you need tweezers or anything like that for the, the dazzlers to not stick to your hand, I recommend them. I'm not using them because um, I feel like I've somewhat mastered the art of putting on dazzlers without uh, getting glue super glue on my fingers. And again, emphasis on somewhat. Get some dazzlers up here. No, I spoke too soon. I got the glue on my fingers. But I will survive. Hopefully. Nah, I'll survive. I just hate it. It just feels awful. Feels awful. That's what I get for speaking too soon and bragging about not having to use tweezers. The universe is cruel. Cruel indeed. She's like, oh, you think that you don't have to use tweezers, Heavenly? Let me just... Reset your mindset. That's what the universe told me. And I cried a little on the inside, but I'll survive. Okay, and one more Dazzler on the front. Ah! Come back here, Dazzler! My love for you is vast! Ah! One more Dazzler right there to even out the madness. And voila! That's for that part. Now what I will add is one second. Okay, so
you will see in a second. I prefer them to be somewhat thin and not so fat. Just in this case. I assure you, it looks like I'm making a mess. And I somewhat am, but there's purpose. I'm going to use these as decorations. Ah, come back here, little squiggly. Glitter thingy, my bob. Glitter candy bar. Chocolate. Yes. In my life. Here. I might need a longer one. I probably need a longer one. It's okay, I can get that in a jiffy. In a jiffy. And don't talk about the way I talk, y'all. Because I know that I've, I've lived in several places, and so my, uh, my lingo is quite of a questionable disposition in some areas. I've been made aware by the Texans of the world. When they tell me, where are you from? And I have to look at them and I'm really like, dude. Everywhere. You can see what I'm making now? It's kind of like a little firecracker thingy. Isn't it cool? It's like a big burst of love. And also the place of another death. It's like a star. Ooh, made out of pieces. So I'm gonna add one to the bottom. Right? Because there's no such thing as a lonely star. Okay guys, so we're gonna make sure there's no lonely stars. Okay. This is the epitome of waste not one not because I refuse to let wonderful stickiness go unused. That's why I randomly threw this star in here, because I like the star. It's kind of like a firecracker star thingy, majigger, to show the the bright and beautifulness of your oncoming semester and the beautifully bright future you have. Emphasis on beautiful and bright and dazzling and dazzling. Okay, so there. That is the front. So let me go ahead and do something fantastical to the sides. So that's the front. This is the side. And I ran out of O's. So I'm gonna make this Q. And O. Okay, and where am I? Double do this. And again. Too low. Okay. Too high. Right there. Oops. paper off and got that right there 
Again, you could put your initials, but I'm just going to go ahead and put our initials and get my stars to make sure they're sticking down as they are intended to in corners. That's just a good idea so your stuff doesn't fall off in general. Because that tends to happen with sticky sometimes. The ones that aren't completely flat tend to um, want to unstick. Really it depends on what they're sticking to though. If this is more like a paper, one of those paper binders, it wouldn't be the, the same. Okay guys, we just finished the do-it-yourself binder. Voila! This is the front. Got the zigzaggies. Got my little pinky thingies and my, my stars. Here's the side. And here's the back. I know you guys didn't see me do the back, but it's essentially the front. I was just trying to save time and I added some lines and uh, love is what we do, of course. So. I hope you enjoy making your binder and hope you have a wonderful semester. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.